Hopefully it works because it did this last time. Oh, it worked. Well, welcome to the stream, guys. Northwoods Angling here. Thursday live stream. We are out in the Minnesota River, guys. We are using some uh, bait we don't usually use out here, but it is a pretty common bait in general for channel cats throughout the country. And if, if not throughout the country, it should be. But we are using some cut bait, some cut sucker minnows, cut sucker chubs, I guess you would call them. And we're also using frogs, leopard frogs, guys. If you're not familiar using leopard frogs for channel cats, it really doesn't get any better than that. Um, I love frogs. Frogs are my favorite bait for channel cats. That and cut bait. Cut fresh cut bait, good good uh, good old leopard frog or any frog for that matter, is good bait. What's going on, guys? Alvin, Chepe, the catfishing rookie. What's going on, brother? I'm out here with my boy Ginger Cat. It's my neighbor. He's gonna be a senior this year. He's grown up to be. Quite the man himself, you know what I'm saying? So, I found the frogs right at the ramp, actually. So, we brought he, he brought his frog net, and I was I was hoping we could get them. We did find some frogs, thankfully. So I'm gonna send it, bearded Benny. <laughs> What's the record for largest channel? I'm not sure in Minnesota. Not sure, 41 or 36 pounds. Heather Abney, what's going on? Big Mama's Barbecue, what's going on? So I'm going to have uh, Ray hold the phone and uh, I'll have him record me and I'll show you guys how I hook up the frog. Um, I've always hooked up my frogs this way for probably the last 10 years now. I haven't changed it up. Um, I found that I can catch three, four, five, six fish on one frog sometimes. Depending how you hook them, you guys can use a frog and catch multiple fish on it. So I'll have Ray uh, record. I'll turn this camera around here. So we're in pretty fast current, but on this rig here, all I'm doing, this is just a six-aught Gamagatsu circle hook. And I typically don't run um, mono leaders at all on this river, but just because I had rigs hooked up for something else, um, I just did a perfection knot with a loop, and then you actually don't have to tie. If you have pre-made leaders, all you gotta do is put the loop through your uh, swivel, and then put the hook through the loop, and pull it tight and it doesn't come out so how I hook my frogs this is pretty important so right here we have a uh, go over here Stand this side. there we go so here we have a freshly killed leopard frog tongue sticking out that's how you know when they're uh, deceased <laughs> usually I grab them by the back of the legs and I whap their head on the edge of a corner of the boat or something so, this is the best way I've found. Some people clip the legs, I do not. Here's what I do. I take the hook, I go once underneath the mouth, through the top mouth. So he's hanging there just like that, right? You grab the outside leg, you find his thigh right there, you go right next to the bone in the meat. So you take that back leg, you go through, through the thigh, so now he's got one leg hooked on, you take the other other side of the leg, and the same thing, just like that. He's sitting down on the hook. This will usually get you through a couple fish if you want a spare bait. I run the whole frog, and after you get the first fish on a frog, usually it gets a lot better because they get a little chomped up, and that's when that scent's really rolling through the water. So what I'm going to do, there's a lot of wood in this spot. But there's a nice, a little bit of a slower seam here. I can see a piece of wood, wood there. There's a root ball right there. And I'm kind of going to target just to the right of that wood. Because there is a lot of wood down there. I'm probably going to get snagged up. But we'll see. I'm just going to do a short little toss here. That felt really good. That felt really good. So we'll keep that one there. And I put those... Bail clothes for circle hooks. Circle hooks are made to self-set. You do not have to set the hook. Once in a while you can give them just a little raise up on the rod um, or just reel down on them. Usually in current that's a little quicker they'll, they'll uh, set themselves and you just start pick up the rod and start reeling. So for cut bait 
get you over here. For this cup bait, we have just a standard sucker chub here, a little sucker minnow. Um, and these grow to be pretty big. This one stinks pretty bad, unfortunately. It's not as fresh as I had hoped. So what I do, I got this nine inch Dexter soft grip, the best bait knife on the market if you want a really good bait knife. I would buy one, bottom dweller sells them. They can cut through a frozen carp like nothing. It's a nine inch bread knife and it's just butter right through them. So my perfect, my perfect piece of cut bait, you guys, is the head. It doesn't get much better than the head. Is it focusing? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it right there, guys. Look at them lips. Yeah, hi. Well, on this one, I'm just gonna throw it out back towards the next snag. Now, I don't know how much wood we got back there. I tried to mark it, but um, if you guys haven't noticed, oh, this bait stinks. New flathead shirts, you should, can you see it? Of course. New How could you not? shirts right here, River Warrior shirts. They are for sale on our website at northwoodsangling.com. So, I'm going to pitch this one in a little different water just to see if they're closer to this wood or if they're maybe out on the out further on the edge. So, all right. I gotta wash my hands and then I'll get to the phone here. She's a little stinky. <laughs> Whew. Nope, we do not have 8X. We have uh, 4X. It's the biggest size we got, guys. Thanks for all the thumbs up on the video, guys. I appreciate it. Greatly appreciated. <laughs> Coming to you from Nebraska. Still waiting on that rod you're not using, just saying. <laughs> I'm waiting on a rod too, so hopefully we get a fish here. This water is a tiny, tiny bit fast. When I came down it earlier today, I actually, it looked a lot better. Not earlier today, like 10 minutes ago. I was hoping that it was a little bit slower, but it's beautiful out. Midwest catfishing, welcome to the stream. Looks like a building evening to be on the water. Makes me jealous. Good luck, guys. I appreciate it. How much are they? I think a 2X is like 28 bucks shipped. Free shipping. So they go from 25, I think, all the way up to 30 for 4X. I'm 3X, so you get an idea, I'm a big boy. Come to St. Paul and pick my butt up. <laughs> We're a long ways from St. Paul right now, guys. But hopefully we get a hopefully we get a fish here. It is seven feet below the boat. Um are you guys gonna fish during the eclipse i don't know not sure catfish hunter welcome to the stream have you ever caught a flathead on the frog they're my favorite bait too i've never used frogs for flatheads but i could imagine they would work even if you used them alive they would probably work i hope i hook into a nice one too if there's fish here they're gonna bite we got cut bait out we got frog out the next best deadly the most deadly thing we could be using right now is probably a little stink bait which I do have stink bait in the boat and stink bait rig rigs if it comes down to that. Um, I might fish more of a little bit of a hole with wood after this. I'll probably take you guys with me when we find the next spot. Water's super low, but it is what it is. Looks beautiful out there. Can't wait to get out there tomorrow. Man, it's nice out. I did not expect, I was talking to Jacob earlier today. I did not expect the weather to be this nice. I did not at all. So plans for the weekend, guys. Um, we are heading out on a trip we're leaving saturday at 2 30 in the morning or sunday 2 30 in the morning on sunday we're heading to have it we're doing a big trip guys um it's going to be a crazy crazy live stream it'll be on facebook um we're going to be doing a show recording a show for this coming thursday and so make sure you stay tuned for that because it's going to be it's going to be something else let me tell you it's uh got our good friend that we're going fishing with. It's kind of a surprise right now. I don't really want to spoil it, but I can assure you guys it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So this river right now is, is low. It's on its way up though. So we just got to be patient. And the other night we were finding the fish a little closer into the wood. So I might have to move. If we don't catch a fish in 10 minutes, guys, I'm moving. I'm not going to sit on a spot all night and not catch fish. What time is it there? 
seven thirty. I use liver that has been sitting in coffee grounds. You should try it. I honestly, I just want to warm up with the frogs. I'm not a huge liver guy. I know it does work. There's a lot of good baits out there that work for channel cats. There are a lot of good ones. I took Monday off to bring the kids to the Croy for the eclipse and sturgeon. Well, Dwayne, hopefully uh, the clouds stay out of this guy. I know there's supposed to be some uh, coverage around Minnesota, which kind of stinks, but uh, I'll definitely go outside when I'm in my office. Let's fish together one of these days. How's your September looking? I watched a fish with a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> you guys we got a another fishing show in in the stream uh he's another youtuber uh peter and oh we got a common berganzer over here two of my good buddies um have a channel called another fishing show so if you haven't seen those guys i highly recommend it they put on a really good show and we got a fish together we got a fish together. 9.5 inches of rain upstream from you, so river will be coming up. We got three inches in my town last night. Checking in from the firehouse again. Robbins, welcome to the stream, brother. We're just looking at the birds, killing it. Out here with the one and only ginger cat. Could go for a fish right now. If I don't get a fish here, I know where I'm going next. Right down river. There's a real nice hole off this little off this little uh, rock point. I did mark fish there. So if this strikes out on us, we will move. We will move. Man, I'm excited for this weekend, you guys. I was going to I was going to do live stream tomorrow, but I wanted to stay on schedule and it ended up being no wind, which I was expecting a whole lot of wind. I was expecting it to be a little rainy, no rain. I mean, the skies Guys are blue. I'm blue. Abba dee da -ba da. How was fishing on the Missouri last week? Big struggle. Some of you didn't follow me on <laughs> Facebook. Missouri was a, it was a little bit of a conundrum. It was a big struggle. Didn't do hot. Caught a flathead, a bunch of silver carp. She was real, really tough bite, guys. Missouri River was a challenge last weekend, let me tell you. Probably the most challenging fishing I've ever had. I can say that pretty confidently. Ah, what's up, hippie? You wearing the pure leaf shirt? No, I'm wearing the new Northwoods Angling flathead shirt. Hey, Luke, good luck. I have a start work. Lost in the woods, good luck. Good luck working. I'll have good luck fishing, hopefully. Have fun working. I couldn't imagine it would be that great working, but I was really happy to get off today. Let me tell you, it was beautiful. Yeah, this is a good shirt. It happens, Macintosh. It does happen. Fishing's fishing, you guys. I mean, like right now, we got a frog in right there. Sucker right there. Neither have got bit yet, but they will. We're giving it five minutes and we're moving. You guys can tag along in the seducer and follow us on our way. So there's a tree below the boat. Let me get a little drink of some uh, Lipton Pure Leaf, some, some li liquid gold. Racer Tracer, what's going on, brother? Josh, we did use those uh, silver carp. We did cut them up. How do you hook those them frogs, Luke? Catfish Hunter? I did a demonstration in the beginning of this video. So if you want to know my secret to hooking frogs, go back and watch that. Or if we get a fish and I lose my frog, I'll do it again. How about that? Even when you're not catching fish, guys, just remember, if you got a pier leaf in the boat, you don't even care if you catch fish. Maybe I should stop drinking pier leaf. How about that? I haven't tried frogs, but have been having a lot of success with cut bait for channels and flats in the Minnesota. I used frogs to cut bait the other night, two nights ago. And I caught, the boat I was in, I caught all the fish and they didn't catch any and I was using frogs. Hey Luke, load up and haul butt to Nebraska for Big Calamus Classic next weekend. Home of the Monster Channel Cats. Home of the Monster Channel Cats, I think, is Selkirk, Manitoba. Which I'm going there very soon. We'll be going to Canada here in a couple weeks, guys. I'm pretty excited. 
I know there's some big ones in Calamus. I know that for a fact, but catching 60 fish over 20, 25 pounds in a day doesn't get much better than that. Oh, cheese its Ray's really getting into the food, guys. This, he's got two minutes and we're moving. You, get to follow, you guys get to see the beautiful Minnesota River and little Raymond eating his Cheez-Its. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Anyone that's shared the stream, I appreciate it very much. We tour channel cats up with frogs and without the legs. Made for a great dinner. These frogs aren't quite big enough to use to eat the legs. They're pretty small. Do you have any tips on what to use for catfish? What kind of catfish and where are we talking? I think uh, depending where you live makes a big difference on the on the bait you run to. Is the Minnesota River deep enough for my boat near Belle Plaine? My lady really wants to check it out. I don't know, Brandon, I don't know what boat you got. I think I read you're moving though. It's kind of saddening. Um, right now, uh, Belle Plaine's pretty sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. If I would've gone upriver from this launch, um, I probably would've hit rocks. It's pretty sketchy here right now, but the water is going up, which is good. I have to change spots, but I don't wanna leave the feed. <laughs> Z Zanger one what's up Luke in the Ohio River? Ohio River? Primo. Primo fishing destination. Well, it used to be. There's still big fish in there. She's struggling a little bit. I think we're gonna we're gonna move up. 14 foot Alumacraft, small. I wish I was near Carver Rapids on Saturday. Came came close to some bad times. We're right by the Carver Rapids right now. So you probably know where we are. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna. What would you recommend? Would would fish a lake in Missouri? What would you recommend if you would fish a lake in Missouri? For blue cats, I'm not sure the lakes, Lake of the Ozarks, I know. Um, I think Skipjack, a lot of those guys run in shad. What kind of bait would you run? F recommend for high pressured pay pit? They have giant catfish, blues, and flats mostly, but I've only caught two fish. I would recommend not fishing those. I'd recommend getting out on the river. It's a lot more fulfilling when you go out on the river and really, really tackle those fish. I'd highly recommend that. I promise. It's worth it. How big was your biggest fish you caught? My biggest fish? Um, probably 150 pound alligator gar. My biggest catfish is 118. Blue cat out of Missouri. But I'm going to hand this camera over to Ray here. Here's Ray right here. Oh, Ray. <laughs> All right, flip her around. So we're gonna flip it. Well, of course. So we're gonna move spots here. I don't like it. No bites. So I think we're gonna go tackle some. We'll probably just leave those hanging off the edge of the back of the boat. Get them all wrapped up like that. Oh, almost got snagged up. The biggest fish I've ever caught was a 50-pound flathead in this boat. Yeah! He caught it in my boat. The trusty seducer. That was a good night. Alright, you unhook us? And I will. So we're just tied to this tree, guys. Michael, what's up, Ray? What's the biggest fish Ray caught? Yeah, Ray's got a nice flathead. He's got a... Oh, trying to get my throttle here. We good? <laughs> Of course. Oh, you had the clip on. Yeah. Want to hold this? I it's facing you right now. Oh, it is. That's fine. How do I look? You look good. All right. So this this boat is a 16 foot Starcraft. I have highly modified it to be a catfishing boat. It's a front center console now. I may hit a tree, so don't mind the bumps. I modified it to a front center console. She's a little skinny, guys. A little skinny. Alright, we're doing it. So you guys want to see the graph? Thumbs up if you want to see the graph. 
I can do the graph vision if you want to see if you want to see what what we're looking at oh, so right now it's 11 feet of water you guys can kind of see very bad connection it says please stop having a bad connection thank you all right, we're good. So I'm cutting across the river. You can see the deadhead. It's a pretty big graph, so it's like a TV. So we're going on the cut bank side. That's wood with some fish next to it. You get a pretty good sense of kind of what she looks like. I keep my pier leaf close to me in case I get parched. So this is the cut side guys. We're going down river right now and there's some wood coming up here. You can probably see it. I'm trying to find a little deeper water. That's my goal. I mean you can see pretty clear the We'll get up on this wood, I'll kind of show you guys what I'm looking for. And right there I just found some clams. There's a clam bed right there. If you find clam beds, that was a really nice fish right there. That's a good mark right there, guys. This is 12 feet. Might be worth just fishing the front of this. There's, an, there's a good fish right there, too. So these fish might be out a little bit here. So I kind of show you guys what we're coming up on here. Really good depth. I think we're gonna fish this, guys. It's a, it's 12 feet, 11 and a half feet deep. I just marked a really nice fish below the boat. I think I'm gonna have Ray anchor us up here. I think we're gonna pinch up right in there, and we're gonna throw on this seam right here into this wood. Do I need to anchor? Yeah anchor we got really good depth here guys and this is what we're targeting right here oh geez we're going in quick I might hit something here guys hang on with me getting a little close comes up really quick here five feet we're good you good oh, yeah. all right let's go right here I think huh hang on oh. Go ahead, throw it. Wow, that worked. Here. Dude, come on. <laughs> Tighten us. Get us tight. So Ray just smashed my headlights with his hey. with his the anchor. That was good. Did you break it? No. It's fine. It's fine, he says. Hey, is it fine? Just a little dirt. It'll happen. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's what we're fishing. <laughs> this looks pretty awesome this looks really really good I like this little ledge here if the water was right up right up to the top of this rip ball this spot would be just primo and you can see the bank where the water goes up to I mean it's we're 15 feet below that probably should throw I'm gonna I'm gonna go to this camera I'm gonna have Ray talk to you guys for a second hello people Yes, they are anchor-proof lights. When you're a skilled anchor tosser like me, it'll happen. So what I'm doing, I'm going to pitch out a uh, side anchor. I didn't get up on the dirt enough. So, I am going to put an anchor up there in the mud. Let's see. You know that'll happen. Now we're good. You want to tie this around here? Well, sure. Right there is fine. We'll get these. Uh, we'll get these lines out. We're gonna catch a fish. How am I tying right it here. exactly? Just wrap it around and make a. Yep, and then pull that tight, and you're good. I just don't want us to float out. All right, guys. So we are set. What do we got? Ginger cat. There is another anchor. There are some anchor proof. <laughs> they are anchor proof. Where did you launch? We launched on the Minnesota River. Nate Hines says. 
Brian Cohen, what's going on, brother? We're on the Minnesota River. We are fishing channel cats. We got cut bait on. We got frogs on. You wanna? Yeah. Are you gonna throw these yeah. baits? Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. You know what? I'm spinning this camera around. Hey, folks. You look very beautiful, Luke. Thank you. The nicest thing you've ever said to me. Look at this. He is body goals. You guys see the new shirt? All the new people in here. They are available at northwoodsangling.com. All right, so. All right, we move spots. That one's settling in. It's pretty fast here, but there's a nice little seam right here. You can see it running along. So hopefully we're gonna pull those channel cats out of that wood. That's my goal, and it is 12 feet deep here, so it's pretty much perfect. Perfect for the channel cats. It is. All right. I got a 12 pound channel cut bluegill. We cannot use bluegill here. If I could, I would definitely be running bluegill. It is very not legal in Minnesota, for inland waters, I should say. Very not legal. So Ray's gonna shark eye these rods right here, as you can see. He's getting really comfortable. He's gonna watch these rods, and hopefully if a fish hits, he won't lose it. Hopefully he doesn't lose it. What size weights are you using, Brandon? We have a five, a five ounce on one of these, and we have a six ounce on the other one. I think the six ounce is on the outside, which is typically how it should be. But the current's pretty swift here, so I'd like to be able to use like a four ounce, but five or six is just fine. You're running circle hooks. Circle hooks are pretty, uh, you got a lot of give for whatever you do with circle hooks. Someone's revving up. But you get a lot of leniency for the fact that you can just throw it in. You don't have to set the hook. You don't have to turn your clicker on. All you got to do is tight line a circle hook. And in, may, in normal current, those fish are going to hook themselves just fine. When you got slack water and stuff, it gets a little crazier and you want to just reel down on them. But overall, circle hooks are super high percentage hookup ratios. And uh, usually they work really good. So channel cats, circle hooks are my go-to. 100%. Unless I'm bobber fishing, I don't always run a circle. It's you. My mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, and sister said hi and to catch a big one. Logan! Say hello to your family. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Northwoods Angling, where all the excitement happens on the YouTubes, where you get to watch me sit in my boat with Ginger Cat and maybe catch a fish. Just the thought that we could catch one should bring people here. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the new subscribers. I do appreciate that very much. If you're not subscribed, feel free to check out our channel. We do do a production video every other week. This coming Thursday, this next a week from today, we will have a new episode out. Today is the live episode. So if you're wondering, if is this all they do at Northwoods Angling? It is not. This is just my day to shine and to bring the people together as one big family. Welcome to the stream. Hi again from Illinois, going next week, Chuck Winters. It's that pure leaf bod. You got that right. <laughs> How about a live stream from Wheeler? Yes, we will be doing a live stream from Wheeler. Um, we got some other exciting news for Wheeler. We are attending Winter Blues in Alabama. The Northwoods crew is going to Alabama. Minus Blake. Blake can't come. Me, Peter, and Jacob are heading down to Winter Blues on Wheeler Lake. Um... I th it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Uh, me and Peter will be fishing with Mr. David Ashby, Bottom Dwellers Tackle. Our sponsor, Mr. Dave, one of the greatest men in the industry. So we're fishing with him. And hopefully I get to meet a lot of you guys down there. That would be nice. Hopefully you guys are there. I know a few of you are gone, so I will see you there. You better catch a fish because Dieter Malhorn has been showing you up on catfishing fish on live stream yeah Dieter he fishes those reservoirs real nice if I was like on the red 
you guys would see lots of fish caught or lake fishing lots of fish it's a little hard a little hard out here a little difficult sometimes let me have one of those reels you wish Jose you wish water temp today is 71 and a half degrees water temp dropped a lot it's on the downfall I think for the year guys so I mean it is what it is it's gonna drop but the fall bite for flatheads is really good but I'm I know me and the rest of Northwoods angling we're about to get into sturgeon mode and winter blues when it turns fall I just turn off flatheads straight to sturgeon fishing if you've never sturgeon fish guys lake sturgeon I highly recommend it especially if you're in the Midwest <coughs> Wisconsin Minnesota I highly recommend doing sturgeon fishing there's a jet boat coming it's a lot of fun it's definitely a jet boat Dieter live Melhorn Dieter is a hoot Dieter's one of my favorite people I don't see him in here though I'm always in his stream I don't see him in here Dieter good old Dieter does pre leaf make you a better lover? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It sure does. Nick Welch, what's going on, brother? I'm just a little parched, so I'm gonna take a swig of this pure leaf. It cures the it cures the parchedness. If you guys are curious, it sounds like a mud motor. Pretty good. So I, we're pretty much out here doing a cut bait. Cut bait versus frog, guys. We got a frog out. We got some cut bait out. Now we just need a fish. I would kind of top off the day. One fish. I could ruin it and throw some stink bait because we'd probably catch one. But it'd be really small. I don't really want to catch a really small fish. Um, I could definitely do it. Pretty successfully on this river. But not. Receive my shirt today. Appreciate the big man size. Steve Early, enjoy the shirt. I think they turned out pretty good. It's probably the most bad butt flathead shirt on the market. Our artist did an in crazy job on that flathead. And the detail on those shirts turned out way better than we expected, so it was really cool. Hi from Southern Indiana, Jeremy Hedge. Welcome to the stream, brother. We're, we're fishing channel cats. I didn't even bring live bait. I asked Ray, I said, should we bring bullheads so we can fish flatheads? Nope. No flatheads tonight. We're, we're targeting channel cats. We are targeting channel cats. When we're almost getting into the good bite here. If I don't get one at this spot, I'm probably going to hop to another spot. Actually, right where that boat just pulled in is the next spot I wanted to fish. So, we're going to catch one here. And I think even in front of the boat ramp out here would actually be a really good spot because there's a really good seam there. And it's about 10 feet deep. 10 feet deep right now and the main river is pretty high actually in general for the water level but each river is on its own do you fish during the fall winter season if so would you use the same rig you're using now red tv catch them all logan cook red tv i when we go to alabama and we fish the tennessee river system when we go to virginia and fish the james river system we uh we do a little we do some bumping uh, we drag, we run planer boards, we suspend baits in really deep water. Um, the rigs, you can still use Carolina rigs. We were actually using Carolina rigs when we were using planer boards too, which worked really good actually. Um, I mean, it all depends, I guess. On, we use different hooks and stuff for blue cats. But winter, you can't catch flatheads here in the winter. It's illegal. It's closed. We got that passed a few years ago. And... Uh, it all depends on where you're <laughs> where you're fishing, I guess, is is the best way to put it and what you're fishing for. Those are big poles for channels, yes. Yes. That one's actually a medium heavy. That's not that big. That's pretty light on the tip. That's actually a channel cat rod and sturgeon rod. That one is a heavy. <coughs> and then this one. I got my new Tomcat. You know, if you then I have big pole. then I have the new heavy, which is even heavier. This is one of my blue cat rods right here. You can see, and this is a Charlie Brown HD hook, 80 pound leader. This is from blue fishing this last weekend. 
And this is my new Tomcat, and I have this with a Elfamar on it with 80 pound Power Pro. So that's on that. But yes, some of these pulls in here are very big. I just brought the whole arsenal. Well, not the whole arsenal, but I brought a lot of rods just in case we start flipping through different baits. You never know. What kind of frogs are you using? We're using leopard frogs. You want to pop that? I'll show you guys the frogs we're using here. Oh, don't let them out. Oh. Whoa! Shh, don't let him out. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> He's loose. <laughs> He's gonna get out. I got it. Got him? I got him. Get him by the legs. Let's show what people what we're doing here. Ray just about lost him. Right here we got a nice little... <laughs> he doesn't, can't even hold a frog. <laughs> I got it. Just a leopard frog here. He's just chilling. He doesn't know he's gonna die, but <laughs> he's pretty cute. Great little bait. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> They're pretty nice little animals. <laughs> what kind of frogs? That's the kind of frogs we're using. We don't mess around with the. All right, you can put them back. Put them back. <laughs> All right, sip, tea sipping, catfish catching, son of a gun, how's the fishing? Bradley Granberg, fishing's not so hot. I mean, we're doing all right. Me and Ray here, I had to ask him. He answered me in one second. Want to go, want to go film a YouTube t show tonight? Yeah, yeah, he says. So here we are. Northwoods Angling, live. Minnesota River, metro area near Minneapolis, Minnesota. Magic happens on this river, guys. It does happen. Maybe not on my live streams. I might have the worst running luck on live streams. In the history of live streams on YouTube, not a lot of people fish live on YouTube for an hour to four hours every time. But when they do, I haven't had the best luck, guys. That's why I say, if you want to watch me catch fish on streams, go to Facebook. Add me on there. I do catch fish on my Facebook lives sometimes sometimes rivers up to 21 feet maybe it is you're probably right what angle do you like your rod holders for channels just like that 50 degrees when I'm running circle hooks I want my tips up uh, next level down actually works too um, growing up on the reds or learning to catfish on the Red River of the North for those big channel cats I always had my tips up I want that the most bend in the rod you can get it's just how I've always done it. I know some guys run a little lower, like 30 degrees. I prefer this. I prefer the 30, 50, 50 degrees. Those are the dual troller drift master pros. Half inch drift masters. We're going to get a fish. I just have a really good feeling it's about to happen, guys. So be prepared. Ray's really in the, in the zone right now. Welcome to the stream. We got 49 thumbs up on this video, guys. It's a lot of thumbs up. I appreciate that very much. I appreciate all the new subscribers on this video. We It always happens where you get a lot of new people in here that aren't used to seeing us. And I've said this before. They always say, man, you, you don't catch any fish in your streams. Well, we do have a production show we do every other week, too. I just do this every other week, once, a, once every other week. So you don't have to see me that much. Because I can imagine it can't be that pleasant for that long. And when I bring guys out like this who have red hair. <laughs> Look at that. He's got a nice hat on though. Northwoods Angling hat. I think first we got edition. This, we got the same hat on. First edition. Yeah, he got first edition. He's my neighbor, so he gets first dibs. But he doesn't have a shirt yet. What do you think about silver cat rods? I used to have a silver cat Dan outdoors. Um, I broke the real seat off on a like a medium sized sturgeon and I messaged him and I never heard back so here I am and uh, I will never buy one again because of that but they I liked it actually it was a good rod pretty much all now I use are Tomcats and they're fantastic rods I've been wanting to go fish sturgeon where in the Minnesota do you go Brandon I'd recommend the St. Croix River it's a really good fishery for sturgeon um, they're very well protected there if you if people are going to be new to fishing sturgeon on the St. Croix River 
make sure you check the regulations when you can do it um, usually you can't keep a fish out of there so keep that in mind when you're out there almost it's almost always catch and release um, they may do a tag for you can get one a year if you buy a tag separately and it's only for a certain time of the year and in certain parts of the river and it's really only closed now for spawn so it'll be open now from now and through winter so if you want to ice fish them or fish them on open water if you want to see some cool ice fishing lake sturgeon we do got a few videos up on our page if you want to see those well thanks for the thumbs up we got 68 thumbs up now i like that now we just need to catch a fish we're 40 minutes deep hanging out here with the the one and only salmon fisherman himself eddie bauer edition ginger cat <laughs> going to hit up the lake saturday with my 14 year old as as on a 12 year old daughter both love fishing can't wait jeremy hedge well hopefully they catch some fish i know it's important when i'm if i was going to take a kid fishing i definitely want to go to like a lake or somewhere you can catch a lot of fish even the river if you're running stink bait out here you're fishing any wood with stink bait and the fish are biting you usually catch them pretty actively to be honest i was never a firm believer in the stink baits i mean i still am I still am not for big fish, but I definitely am for small fish. I checked out about Pure Leaf because you got me addicted. I'm pretty sure it, it's not made by Lipton. It is Lipton Pure Leaf. <laughs> well, huh? if we look here. Ray, no, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it says it. doesn't it. even say Lipton, but it is, I'm pretty sure it is. Because it's Pepsi. Should I Google it? Yes. Lipton Pure Leaf. Cannonball? <laughs> We're gonna... No cannonball tonight. Should I do one? If you get a big fish, how big a one? You guys wanna see the big boy do a cannonball? <laughs> He'll do it. But he's gotta catch a big enough fish. What's the number? 35 inch channel cat? It's a pretty big, big channel cat for this river. But they're in here. Have you ever used the Cast King Rover 60 reels? If so, do you like them? Sean Raby, what's going on? Scott Grizzle, I have not used one. Um, I used to use all Abu Garcia reels. I have now transferred. I still run Abu, but I used to run a lot of 6500s. I have a lot. Lipton. It is Lipton, yes. It's technically just Pure Leaf, but Lipton owns, owns it. So it's, it's pretty much Lipton Pure Leaf. So... I used to run all a lot of Abu 6500s, 7000s. I still have many of them. I, I want to sell them, but I'm having a hard time mentally doing that, thinking I might need them later. But now pretty much all I run are these Abu Garcia. They're the Alpha Mars, level wind. They are super clean. They're just like the Pen Fathom, which is right here. You can compare them side by side very very similar reels my favorite reel right here guys pen fathom lw 20. it's my favorite reel and then i have another alphamar there and i have another fathom and another alphamar and these are the tomcats this is the old school this is the old school tomcat right here guys this is the medium heavy this is the same rod blank that one's the same rod blank I clapped my 118 pound blue cat on. And we have now upgraded our, our rod size. The new blanks from Tomcat Custom are perfect for blues, perfect for flatheads. They're a perfect in between rod. So if you need a good one. <laughs> what made you go into full time catfishing and have you guys hit up the Potomac River for blues? Fort Couch, thank you for the question. I have not gone full time catfishing. It may seem like it because I fish a lot. I do have a full-time job still, as do the other members of Northwoods Angling, um, but I fish a lot. I, Blake fishes probably just as much as me, maybe a little less. I'm the only one not married without kids, so lucky me, I get to take out my neighbor kid fishing. I don't have any kids of my own, so I just take out him. Makes me feel good, like I'm doing something good for the world. But no, I, I have not fished the Potomac. I will be there. I have a friend that lives there, right around DC. 
and I do want to come I do want to come fish there and I plan on doing it are you streaming through the YouTube gaming app I am NOT I am streaming through YouTube um, there's they say there's a specific number where you can actually you can live stream right on YouTube I don't know that number but we can if you hit the record button the video button on your phone it'll either say um, take video and live stream if it just says record video then you don't you're not live capable make sure you have it enabled in your um, settings on YouTube also because that can be a big difference there's some of you guys that are youtubers in here welcome to the stream by the way I'm Lou Kench's Northwoods angling um, not every channel can go live on YouTube I know that some of the smaller ones cannot um, when they went live with this going live like this we were already able to so I'm not sure um, what the number is. They say it's a thousand, but and they say some people say you don't need any subs. I disagree with that. I think you do. I got my shirt, Chris Salisbury. Enjoy the shirt. They uh, they turned out. I think they turned out pretty good. Hopefully you like them. I have a lot of people notice the bullhead on my shirt. The shirt is the bomb. Terry, I also appreciate you purchasing the new Northwood shirt. I like them a lot. Shout out to Dodge City, Kansas. Alan Surface, welcome to the stream. What do you think about the silver cat rods? I went over that. Have you ever used Pro Cure products like brine and bite chicken liver? I don't use any Pro Cures. I've, I've put hot dogs in jello just for fun. Typically, you guys, 95% of the time I'm using live bait or fresh cut bait or frogs. That's just the majority of what I run. Um, I'm, I, when I'm targeting bigger fish, that's what I'm going to be running. If I want to target smaller eater sized fish, which I don't eat them, I mean, I do eat fish, but when I'm out here fishing and filming, I'm, I'm going to be targeting bigger fish. Um, unless it gets really, really bad. Desperate measures call. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Remember that. <laughs> um, you just described that rod and reel the way many men describe their ladies. <laughs> So you like Daiwa rods. I, I have not used a Daiwa rod. AMW. I have not used a Daiwa rod before. I have not. Would suspend drifting be a bad idea for a small river roughly 10 to 15 feet? S suspend drifting? Um, suspend drifting. You could do that. How, I mean, how big of a river is it? I'm not super, super, super familiar with drifting. I've done it a couple times out of state. Um, I don't know. I'd have to see the river, I guess. And for a, a smaller river like that, I don't even know if you'd need to suspend baits. When we suspend baits in ten the Tennessee River system, you know, we're in 70, 80, 90 feet of water. And we're suspending them up, you know, two, three feet in the water column from the bottom, so. How do you hook your frogs on your hooks? That's a great question. <laughs> I would love to show you guys again, but I don't have, I don't want to kill a frog yet, but I can show you in a little bit. Cause I did, I did show it at the beginning of the stream, exactly how I hook my frogs and the best way I think to hook frogs. So hopefully this one gets hit and then the frog will go away and then I can rehook another frog. I got two more frogs left in the box. We're going to give this just a little bit more and we're going to probably move spots again. We'll just keep moving until we find the fish. But I can try to explain how I hook those frogs, Jeremy. So I go up under the mouth, out the top of the snout. And then I grab the rear leg and I put the circle hook through the thigh. And then I grab the other leg and put the other hook, the other leg through the thigh, through the hook. So it's pretty much just like sitting on the hook, if that explains it. But I show it in the beginning of the video if you want to watch it. It's in there. Alright, what's your Facebook name? My Facebook name? My name is Luke. I go by, I go by a few nicknames though, so it's hard to say. Alright, tried fishing leopard frogs once in the back legs. Got bit off, pretty sure it was a turtle. <laughs> it probably was a turtle. Probably was a turtle, guys. I really want to catch a fish on this live stream, guys. I'm amazed we haven't gotten hit yet. I'm honestly 
just the look of this seam right here good depth good structure just not getting bit I don't know water went up today temp dropped a tiny bit I don't think the conditions are bad where I wouldn't catch a fish but what do you do nothing you can do awesome as always Pedro thanks for the coming in the stream tonight I appreciate it I don't have a channel but made one just to subscribe Ted Sherman I appreciate you subscribing catfish again after dad passed thanks for your videos I got fever again I welcome back welcome back to the fishing man that's uh my best memories before my dad passed away was fishing with him so do fishing is is in my blood I've I learned fishing from my dad he passed away when I was really young um, I was only I wasn't even nine years old when my dad passed away and he taught me how to fish and I spent a lot of time with him in the boat I remember as a kid that's my best memories I've had was fishing with him so it's pretty cool so welcome back to fishing I'm glad I got to help you get into that very bad connection all right we're good why can't I caught using circle why I can't caught using circle hook <laughs> why I'm guessing you're asking why you have bad luck fishing circle hooks if there's no current it can be a little tougher if the fish don't have anywhere to go they can be a little tougher and you got to watch your line and you can reel down on them <coughs> and I remember when the Red River would flood and we'd fish the back woods we'd fish up on the top way up in the woods or we'd fish golf courses you'd throw your hook out and you'd have to watch your line and uh, you gotta really reel down on them when you start seeing that line move otherwise they'll pick up and drop it sometimes and if there's no if there's current they have nowhere to go they're either gonna go up or they're gonna go down and usually they're gonna go down so that's the nice part about circle hooks any word on the fitted hats yet Tony Worlds not yet we are working on getting some sweatshirts made. They're not in the process yet, but we've been talking about it. We want to get the new River Warrior sweatshirts out for people, hoodies. I think that'd be good, especially for this fall coming up. And we're working on picking out what fish we're going to do next for the River Warrior uh, series of clothing. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully we pick it up. And all you new people in here, um, I'm going to be live on my Facebook this weekend, this Sunday. We have a big trip this weekend, guys, with a real special friend of ours who's really good at what he does. We're going to film an epic show. We're going to have the drone. All of Northwoods is going to be in this boat. We're going to have the drone out. We're going to have the GoPro. Out. We're going to have the underwater fish bite camera going, guys. It's going to be an epic video. If we get, if we get a show this weekend, it's going to be super, super crazy for next Thursday. So make sure you're watching. Make sure you're, you're staying in tune with the Northwoods. And remember, our next giveaways we do will probably be on Facebook. So keep that in mind. If you don't have Facebook, I do apologize. But we're not doing a giveaway for a while, so you don't have to worry about it. And I'll probably let you guys know on here before. So Phone number is on Rod. They will replace. They might. I, I made that Rod into a... Uh, I cut it off. I built a, I built a custom ice fishing rod with it. Works pretty good for that. Hello from Washington State. Minecrafter Master, welcome. Good old Washington. I love it. What's the cost of a new reel? Fathom, I think the new Fathom, which I would recommend since they don't make the uh, blue Alphamars anymore. I think 160 bucks. If you go to Bottom Dwellers Tackle, probably the, one of the best prices you'll find for that reel 20 LW I recommend a 20 a fathom 20 LW if you run braid if you run monofilament I would recommend a 25 LW 25 LW is about perfect for mono it is you can fit a good amount of pretty good mono on there Alan surface I'll go fishing with you one day I have fished with I think 18 or 19 people this year new people that haven't really catfished before so it's been a really good year my goal was to take people out catfishing that have never been out people that have never caught flatheads and people that just want to experience the river i've taken a lot of people out this year it's been very fulfilling and i enjoy it i've met i've made a lot of really good new friends doing that 
taking pe random people I don't even know. I have probably too much trust in people, but it's been really, really fun. I've put some people on some pretty good fish. What do you like about the Fathoms over the 6500s and 7000s? The smoothness, the drag is 10 pounds more, but the smoothness of the reel, put them side by side, and reel them both and you'll be like oh my gosh that's what I always tell people that that and there's nothing wrong with 7,000 6,500s don't get me wrong I, I love my my Abu Garcia's but when you compare them side by side you know what I'm talking about you'll know what I'm talking about Brandon Osagira what's going Brad Osagira I hopefully I didn't butcher that Brad welcome to the stream for all you new people in here, we are on the Minnesota River. We're um, we're kind of fishing channel cats. We got a frog out. We got cut bait out. There, frog, cut bait, cut bait, frog. I don't know the order. But one of them has a frog, and one of them has cut bait. We're using leopard frogs. We're using sucker minnows. So, I mean, we should have had a fish by now. They can't resist frogs, guys. I'm not even kidding you. What's the best time for big blues on the Missouri? Jameson Lillis. Thank you for all the new subscribers, you guys. I do appreciate it very much. Um, I don't live on the Missouri, but I think fall is really, really good. And parts of the summer can be good. I, I, I'm not comfortable enough to say in the best, but I would think fall is really good for blues. I would almost be for certain on the Missouri. Going to catch us one tonight. Hey, Brad, good luck out there fishing. If you want to fish the Potomac River and don't want to take the boat, I know a great guide I can set you up with. Chris Fridley, I have a friend out there that fishes that regularly, actually. I know a couple guys that live out on the up on the Potomac that um, I plan on getting up there and going fishing with them. Oh, man, my back hurts. Ooh, big struggle. What frogs? Millions of toads everywhere here on the every bank. Leopard frogs. I have a back cramp. <laughs> back cramp. Big struggle, guys. Oh. I'd like to see the video of you catching those leopard frogs, small block feely. It's not graceful. <laughs> I bet you'd laugh. Maybe I'll do a frog catching video next live stream. <laughs> People would like that. Watching a big chubby guy run around in the grass. <laughs> Too big <laughs> Me and Ray jumping around in the grass. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, does it? It was a struggle. We struggled. It was a pretty big struggle, guys. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the new subscribers, guys. We're at 87 thumbs up on the video. We might hit 100. We might hit 100 this video. Be a good thumbs up count. More ginger cat. Here you go. Oh! Hello, people. It's Todd. Read some comments. Wow. BG rated. What's here? Be polite. Um, you your videos are great. Keep up the work, Luke. Thank you. You gotta remember, you're on camera. Hey. So you. I'm trying to a, read. He's learning. So not <laughs> oh, only. Oh, he can't have the phone. Not there. only <laughs> he's got. He's. I'm teaching him the YouTube ways. Not. No, you gotta hold. You gotta remember, you're on camera. So this is the most important thing. Well, I'm trying to get your shot. Face the shot's important. So then you scroll. Oh, like that. What is your favorite bait for flathead catfish? On inland Minnesota waters, I would say... <laughs> bullhead. I would say bullhead. Bullhead is my favorite bait. Not only because they, they might not be the best bait. They're easy to maintain. They're fairly easy to catch. Oh, we got 98 thumbs up on the video. We're hitting 100. We're going to hit 100 this video. I appreciate it. I would, what's your favorite flathead? I would say bullheads because they're legal here. Thank you for the thumbs up. We hit a hundred. Get out. There's a bee on me. I got, so here's a good story guys. Funny story. So I was out with Blake and Jacob the other night. We were in his boat going about 30 miles an hour down the river. I had a bee. So I was covering my eyes like this for bugs. I had a bee stick me in the arm at 30 miles an hour. No like warning, it just stuck me when it hit me. First time, right at, 
my 30, 31 years, you guys. I just turned 31. It took 31 years to get stung by a bee. First time I ever got stung. You're probably thinking, he's probably a big sissy and runs all the time. Yes, yes, that is exactly why I never got stung. <laughs> Catfish caught swim down. Yeah, the catfish I caught swam down river. Yeah, Sam, they usually do. If you're in any current, typically they will swim down river. If you're in a creek mouth, sometimes they'll swim up in the creek. It all depends on what you're doing. 109 likes. God, thank you guys for the thumbs up. Thank you all for the new subscribers. I appreciate that very much. You need to offer the fish some pure leaf so they'll bite. That's a good, good idea. Let's do that. For the homies? <laughs> what the heck? I had a mosquito in my hand. <laughs> what the heck? You guys ready to see a fish caught? We gotta catch one so I can do a cannonball. Here we go. Here we go. Ray, if we catch any fish? Yeah. If we catch a fish, you guys, he's cannonballing in the river. We got to catch a fish. I might stay on until we catch one now. I might throw out the stink bait. He's jumping in. Thumbs up for Ray jumping in the river. It's a little sketchy. I'd probably bring him somewhere else. Why? Oh my gosh, it's sketchy here. Holy it's moly. Just wood. Ray's going in, guys. Still haven't missed a stream yet. Minnesota Fishing, I appreciate you coming in here. Thank you for supporting the stream. Trevor Payton, welcome. Try chubs for both blues and channels. Flats, meh. Yeah, I like creek chubs. I think creek chubs are actually really good for flatheads. I'm just too lazy to go catch them. Let me clean that off. I, I've been working a ton lately. I haven't even had time to go catch bullheads. So this, like, cut bait I already had in the freezer. I just caught frogs at the boat ramp. I mean, it is, it is what it is. It's, I didn't expect it to be this nice out. I was going to cut it out a little early tonight. But it's beautiful. I mean, mosquitoes are out. You know it's a good night when they're out. Where are you at? Dan Outdoors retracted, message retracted. Dan, either it deleted your message because something was bad, or you wrote a message that was too long and it automatically took it away. So if you said something, shorten it up, if that was the case. I don't control that. Have you ever fished with lamy glass rods? Nope. Frog gonna get you a snapper. That it's very possible. Uh, we're if we we're a little closer to the bank, you're probably right. Um, snappers do mostly soft shells are our problem, but when they're a little closer to the bank in this in this slack water here, that's where you'll find those turtles. Are we gonna pre-fish yellow together? Maybe. Josh, you have to remind me on that tournament when that is. Um, I'll be fishing the sturgeon tournament hopefully this year. It should be good. Out of there in Wisconsin, I mean, you never know what'll happen. There's some monsters in there. I caught a 20 pound flathead on Cut Creek Chub on the Minnesota River. Sam, that does not surprise me. I know a lot of guys that love Cut Creek Chub for flatheads. It's not only good for channels, it is good for flats. A nice fresh Cut Creek Chub, it's a good bait. It's a really, really good bait. Been skunked the last few time I went out. Chuck Hayes, it's been tough here, man. You, I have not been seeing a lot of fish caught on this river lately. It's been, it's been a pretty, pretty big struggle here in Minnesota, at least on this river system. I don't know, but it's a little. Oh my gosh, the mosquitoes are thick. Ooh, thermocell, thermocell on, engage. Thermocell's engaged. Here, let me see it. If you guys want the best investment for fishing at night, I get headlights first. Thermocell. If you want to be saved from mosquitoes, right here, guys. It doesn't get any better than this. One of these on my floor in my boat will keep all the mosquitoes out. And it just, there's a little butane that goes in the bottom, and there's a little pad that goes in here, and you can see, see the orange in there? It burns. It burns a butane. And once that thing gets smoking, no more mosquitoes in the boat, guys. So if you want something that keeps the mosquitoes away, only mosquitoes, it will not keep gnats away, 
It will not keep bees away. It will not keep flies away. It will keep mosquitoes away. And it will make... I have mosquitoes on every one of my fingers. Holy moly. You want to take this quick? I'm going to put on my sweatshirt. Oh, sure. Remember, you're on camera. Hello, people. Did you bring my sweatshirt in here? Of course. Should we watch Luke put on his sweatshirt? It's up front. Oh, I'm getting it. Oh. Big struggle here. Come the new shirt again? Yeah. New flathead shirt, guys. I would purchase one if I was you. He hasn't bought one yet, but hey. he's gonna. No, my mom's going to. Yeah, his mom's buying him one. Only for the low price of $28 if you're fat, 25 <laughs> if you're skinny. <laughs> it's the most it's, it's the best flathead shirt around, boys. Got to do it the Luke way. Head first. <laughs> <laughs> then one arm, then the other arm. Then pull it down over the chub, and you're looking dandy. Oh, fix the strings, of course. Wow. His strings are a little bit messed up. Yeah, I know. They need to be fixed. Uh, all right. All right, we're back at it. There's Ray. You need your sweatshirt on? Probably. Mosquitoes are a little thick, guys. This is one of a kind right here, the Northwoods Angling sweatshirt. She's comfy. It's almost a little warm for a sweatshirt, but I'm sick of getting bit by mosquitoes. <laughs> so I'm putting it on. Thanks for answering my question. You're the man looking forward to the show this weekend. Dutch, Naomo, be prepared, man. It's gonna be a crazy live stream this weekend. If you guys aren't subscribed to Northwoods Angling, I suggest it if you like our videos. If not, that's fine. We do a uh, live stream every other week, and then we have a full production show every week in between that. So we're doing one show every week. It's some Half the time it's live, half the time it's the full production stuff. We're full editing, the drone stuff, underwater stuff, crazy stuff, big fish stuff. This is what I do. It's right by my house. I just come out and live stream on the every other Thursday. And this is what I do. Thank you for the thumbs up, guys. Thank you for the new subscribers. I appreciate it very much. Hopefully we get a fish because I want to see Ray jump in the river. Any fish we catch, he's jumping in. Yeah! I don't know. I don't... It's crazy. You need to see a chiropractor. <laughs> You're probably right. Danny Cal, why is your message retracted? Did you catch anything on that Asian carp and flood it into the boat on the Missouri? James Dockery? We did not catch any blues on our Missouri trip, guys. Really, really, really big struggle. Probably the biggest struggle we've ever had. I need to sit this way. Oh, there we go. Man, the mosquitoes are thick. Thermocell's going though. Thermocell's going, guys. All right, sorry. Ooh, <laughs> mosquitoes. Danny Cal, I didn't see your message. It retracted it. It must have been too long. Danny Cal, welcome to the stream. Danny Cal's a YouTuber out of Illinois, I do believe. He's a great man. I think you're a veteran too. Bless your soul. Welcome to the stream, Danny. Here, boy, Aiden King, what's the biggest flat you've caught this summer? 46 pounds is my biggest this summer. Luke, I have a new video up. Danny, I'll go check out your new video after this stream. I'll like it, and I will comment on it. Oh! I'm a nightmare for a man like you. What's that movie? Taken. It's a good movie. Danny, thanks for coming in. 100th like. Am I that far behind on comments? Enjoying the live feed and drinking my red diamond tea. Mike Cook, I won't judge you on what tea you drink, <laughs> but it's the wrong kind. <laughs> what kind of rig do you suggest when using bullheads? Tom, NKY, I suggest for bullheads, I use a Carolina rig and I don't want to not use what's what's not broke. I, I, I just use a Carolina rig. You can use a float or you can bobber. I bobber. I bobber fish with bullheads. Um, one, two, three feet off the bottom. And it works great. Carolina rig, bobber rig, which is a Carolina rig with a bobber on it. It works good. You don't even need a float. I would suggest that. 
John Pauls, Polster, your message was retracted. I did not get to see what it said. <coughs> Pure leaf, please. Too hot for you? Woo! Hot fries, guys. If you've never had those, you should. I haven't had them in a while. Oh, so all the new people in here, you're probably wondering, how does he sit there that long, an hour and 10 minutes into a stream, not catch a fish, holding his phone in the air like this? I'm long arming it, guys. How does a guy do that? Where does that energy and that stamina for a bigger guy come from to be able to lift his phone up that long? They get heavy. The thing is, all you need, remember this, all you need is a simple thing. It's called lift and pure leaf. Nectar of the gods. <laughs> One drink. Your dreams can come true. One drink and the mosquitoes will still bite you because I think they like it. And I'm getting just eaten alive waiting for that thermosil to warm up. I have five mosquitoes on one hand. That's not going. Nope. Thermosel went out. So you gotta look in the hole to see if it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> We're good. Do you fish Kentucky? I have not fished Kentucky. Trout fishing dip net with small webbing works great for catching frogs for bait. Yeah, raised nets like a 10 foot butterfly net. The thing works so good for frogs. You should do fish and eat show like fish fry. Carrie Newton. Must be Ben's wife. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Um, I could do that. I thought about that a while ago when I did that was doing the fishing kitchen on YouTube and Facebook. So for some of you who don't know, I used to cook on YouTube. I used to cook on Facebook, which I will get into again this winter. I will start cooking again on my live streams. Oh my gosh, mosquitoes. Holy moly. But I want to do a catch and cook. The problem with doing a live stream catch and cook, I have to catch the fish. <laughs> and cook. And then I have to cook it. At this pace, it would be a five hour show to catch one fish and cook it. But I could bring, I'll do that, Carrie, just because you said it. I'll bring my grill, I'll bring tin foil, I'll bring butter. I have oil and I have a pan for my grill. I'll bring some Cajun seasoning. I'm probably, no, I don't think you can fillet and actually eat a fish in a boat legally in Minnesota. I'd have to check on that. And if I did do it, I definitely wouldn't want to do it on video if it was illegal. But I have cooked fish in the boat before from a store, which I could do. I mean, you know, that would work too. I've cooked catfish in my boat. Oh my gosh, mosquitoes are bad, guys. Good luck. Hope to see some nice ones. I appreciate it. Kyle Redman, thank you for tuning in. For all the new subscribers, thank you for tuning in. Oh my gosh, I mean, eating alive. That thermos still going yet? Are you getting on a stink bait rig? I kind of want to jump in, so why not? Ray wants to jump in the river, guys. I wouldn't suggest it ever, but he's putting on a stink bait rig, which is pretty much means he's gonna catch one. I'm trying to help the people. He's trying to help help it out. He wants to jump in. Um, probably gonna give him a my throwable if he jumps in though. I do not fish Kentucky. Dwayne B, thumbs up. If you come fishing Missouri, please do a live stream. I did do a live stream in Missouri last weekend. But fishing was just so bad, it was really, really tough. You can uh, use one of the uh, white light rods. Yeah, that one. It's hooking up a stink bait rig. You can let me show them. Oh, I know what to do. Now I'm gonna show them the rig. Oh. So here's the stink bait rigs I've been using since I'm such a veteran in the stink bait community now, right here. You just roll that around in the stink bait. Stinky. This stuff reeks. It's good stink bait though, I think. I do not fish in Kentucky. Catch big blues on frogs. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that at all. What's the biggest fish you've caught? Dylan Horton asked. My biggest fish is an alligator gar down in Texas. We were filming a show down there. I caught a 150 pound alligator gar. Um, the year before we caught a 200 pounder, but my biggest personally is 150 pounds ish, somewhere in there. My biggest blue cat's over 100 pounds. 
which is our biggest video on our channel. That's gonna hit 200,000 views real quick here. Ouch. I looked at the stats on that video. So that video came out a year ago. I think it has two, two and a half years watched on it already or something. I don't even know, I'd, I'd have to look. But it's crazy. What's up Northwoods, Maddie Christenberry? Marty Christenberry, what's going on? What's going on in the North South Woods? I think that's what we are right now. Oh, Ray's really getting after it, guys. He's got the rig hooked up. Am I using the bubblegum catfish? Or the... No, stink bait. Oh. Stink. I do have a new bait also. It's called catfish bubblegum. I've tried it once. I'm kind of waiting to do a show on it. I'm <laughs> testing it out. Um, I haven't really got a good test on it yet. I haven't really had it in the water very much, so I will start trying that. Hey, I'm new to fishing, so fish in a park, and I use bluegill, but I get nothing, and I have fished everywhere. Can you help me on this one, guys? My big cat fishing, like, new, I fish in a park. I use bluegill, but I get nothing, and I have fished everywhere. Can you help? First off, my big cat fishing life, the, the first off, this might sound, I don't mean to sound disrespectful, make sure that the lake has catfish in it. And I'm being completely serious about that. Make sure there's a fishable amount of fish in that lake. Or pond, whatever you're fishing. And I do know some state parks with really good catfish in them, especially down in Nebraska. And they hold some really good fish. So make sure it has fishable fish. And use the bait that those fish are eating naturally. That's another important one. And if you, you're, you're using the stuff they're using, make sure you're cutting it up. I don't know if you're running channel, fishing for channel cats or flatheads, but use what's natural to them to eat, and they will eat it. As long as you're fishing it correctly. Want to show the people the stink bait? No. It stinks. I don't know if I want to either. Love the shirt. Got it in the mail. Danny Cal, thank you for purchasing the new shirt. It's been a great success so far. We've sold a lot of them, and I appreciate everyone that's been buying in on those shirts. Man, I was really hoping we'd get a fish, and I don't really want to. I'm losing my light here. There's no stick, so, uh... Looks like I'm using the finger. No, you're not. <laughs> you I want sure the people to that? see a You gotta fish. reel in that rod first before you throw another rod out. Yeah, I'm just trying to untangle oh, it. Oh, it stinks. Oh. How do you even smell that? How do I smell that? It's stink bait. Oh my gosh, the mosquitoes are horrible. Okay, well, you see here, we got a predicament. We got a predicament. I'm debating ending this live stream. Right as we're going to catch a fish. Well, no, I just, I'm getting eaten alive, and it's a little frustrating. Do you ever throw a net to catch suckers? Do you ever use a throw net? Terry, we cannot use the throw net in most waters in Minnesota. You also need a permit to throw a throw net, and you can only do it in two bodies of water in this state. So I do not use it. Use leeches. Leeches work fine. Catch a big one. Do you have a P.O. box? I do not have a P.O. box. We do not. We need one. We need a P.O. box. We do not have one yet. Can I use your uh, scissors? You are awesome. Dylan, thank you. I appreciate that. What are you going to use it for? Putting on the stink bait. No. Use a... Uh... He's trying to figure out a way to put on this stink bait. There should be some zip ties in the back of the boat. Zip ties? That'd work. How? Just put some on a zip tie and... <laughs> Did you catch any on hot dogs? I did not. I did not catch any on hot dogs. I did it for about 15 minutes and I was done, guys. I want to see Ray jump in the river. That's my goal. And him not get stink bait all over my boat, because it well, stinks. You know, I kind of need some light here. You don't You don't need light? You got light right there. I'm blind. It's the sun. <laughs> Where? Right there. You oh. can see it. Oh, there. Yeah, we got plenty of light. What's up, Luke? Hope you have some big. I'll be ordering my shirt soon. Jake Boggs, appreciate it when you do. Much, much appreciated. Kane Gotti, good luck. I appreciate it. What's up, my dudes? Brad, not much, man. We're just trying to catch a fish. You know, this stuff kind of stinks. It stinks horribly. Are you using your finger? <laughs> you put it in oh, there. Oh, I got some on my finger. No, you put it in there, and then you rub it around with that. Oh, you see, I've never put on stink bait before, so... It's his first time with the stink bait, guys. You don't tell me what to do. It's oh, my kind of gosh. Way. Start flathead fishing. Th thanks, Luke. You got me and my buddy to start flathead fishing? Nick, welcome to the flathead community, brother. 
and welcome to the Northwoods family. Thank you everyone for all the new subscribers. And it's freaking crazy mosquitoes right now. All right, here we it's go. the thickest I've ever I've seen them in a long time. Is this still going? I wonder. It went out again. It's out of butane. It is. Is it? I don't know. I don't know either. Well, started it again. If the if the thermostat would keep running, the mosquitoes would stop coming here. But it won't keep running. So it is what it is. I'm just gonna let it fly. Uh, Luke, Catfish Weekly, Lyle Stokes, Mr. Catfish Weekly himself. Lyle, welcome to the stream. It's getting a little dark. The mosquitoes are super, super thick and it's really, really annoying. I'm getting bit all over my hands. I don't appreciate it at all. St. Vincent, California, they have giant cats. I've heard they have some decent cats over there in California. Hey, I'm on another live stream. Love your vids. The pack opener, welcome back. I remember, for, I remember you from my four hour stream. Welcome back. Can I get a shout out? Qual and Marriott? <laughs> yeah, you can. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Northwoods family. Thank you guys for all the new subscribers. I'm Luke Kench's Northwoods Angling. Which one should I reel off? Minnesota. I don't remember which one is a frog. Reel in I the... this one. No, that, this one doesn't. Yeah, reel that. Don't get... No, do not touch that. Let me reel it in. Is it in the wood? No, I don't want you to get that stuff on my... Oh, here. I'll wash my hands so it doesn't get on your phone. I just don't want that crap on my reel. Oh, it stinks so bad. It's just stink bait. Chill out. It gets all. It goes all over my boat from the kids' catfish derby. All right, rods up. You guys can see. Go ahead and throw her out. All right, we're gonna catch a fish, and Ray's gonna jump in the river, guys. So stay tuned. Here, this could get interesting. Hopefully that, th hopefully that thermocell starts working here because I'm getting pretty annoyed. You got her? That looks good. Well, you see, we're in a predicament again. What? I'm kind of stuck. You're stuck? Oh, I'm stuck. Is that good? Let me see it. Oh, yeah. Stink bait engaged. I'm just not breathing because it's... Oh, my gosh. I have five mosquitoes on my hand. Throw it right on that... Let her to the right of that branch. Branch. We're looking at that a wood pile with millions of branches. The right, the right branch. Or just to the right of that. Don't Did get in that know? tree. Yeah. All right. I kind of struggle some days. Here, hold this. Is there a stinky on your fingers? No, my stink hands don't stink. You got it. Yeah. I'll even turn around so they see your beautiful face. God, that was perfect. Oh. Let me see if this is going. All right, thermocell's going, guys. Big struggle. You want to get my filming light out? Hey, I sure would love to. It's in my gold bag right next to the right. right. Ray's going to get my filming light out because I want you guys to see him jump in the river when we catch a fish. It's going to happen. It's going to happen fast. And he's going to get wet. What's the biggest you caught? My biggest what, Dylan? But biggest tonight, I haven't caught one yet tonight. Biggest blue cat, 118 pounds. If you want to watch the video, it's on our channel. It should say like 100 plus pound blue cat, something like that. Where exactly is this? Doug, what's going on, Doug? No luck yet. It's in one of the pockets, one of the big pockets. You should try Blue It Falls in North Carolina. I'm going to fish North Carolina. How do you put your, how do you put your bait, Luke? I could show you, if we get a bite on one here, I'll reel it in, I'll show you how I hook my frog. But typically I like to, to give the gap in the hook, you want to keep as much gap as you possibly can. Because that's important. Put you that, uh, no, I don't have it anymore. So I do this. Let me turn that down. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good guys. How's that? We got light. And I have a very bad connection, it says. Now it's fixed. We're good. Let me get through some comments. LMAO, my granddaughter loves hot fries. They're good, Terry. They're real nice. Let me tell you, we're going to catch a fish here now. 
We got one rod in, we casted another one out. I'm waiting for the shadow dweller to quit jumping in front of the light. You know what? Let me uh, turn that down a little bit. Do I just reel this in or what? Is there a fish on it? No, but if there is. Yeah, just crank down it. So I got my filming light here so you guys can get a good view of what we got going on here. We got both rods back here. You got Ray. This is Ray. Wearing the Northwoods hoodie. That's good. Thought I heard a bite. We gotta pay attention to that stink bait though. So, I love tea. I love tea too. Are you using frogs live or dead? Nick Burnett, we're using dead frogs. They are alive right now, like in the, the tote here. But I kill them. I don't need them alive. I have used live ones though. I'm not a vet. Work for a fire department and 911 telecommunications. Oh, we got a fish, baby. <clears throat> Real, Real down. Got him? Yeah. Oh, we lost, lost the light. We lost the... Fish still there? No. Really? Really. We missed it? We missed it. We missed it or I missed it? All right, do another bait. We, let, we had one on, guys. You just want to use my bait knife? Well, that's what I asked you before. And you you said, said scissors. Scissors, bait knife, you know. It's all the same thing. Oh, I had such a crappy knife in my room, too. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get the bait. You know what I just learned? What? Stink bait bite is real. It's real, dude. Stink bait will catch you the most eaters of your lifetime. Oh, handle came off. Off the bucket? Rot roll. Well, we had a fish on, guys. We're going to catch one, though, still. This bait is going in the water. So what I want Ray to do is... I don't really... You can wash it off. So lay it in there and just smear it on it. Smear it on it. Grab some and smear it right over the top of it. So he's lay, lay, I'll get, I'll get the camera on him. You guys can see what he's doing here. Mmm. Yummy. You gotta hold the line and roll it around too. There you go. It's his first time, guys. Literally. Not the most graceful I've seen at this. You know what? That's fine, right there. That looks beautiful. Looks good, Ray. It worked last Let time. Let me cast that out again. Let's catch a fish. Well, Ray, here, hold this. Ray's jumping in. The Ray's jumping in, guys. Looks good. Wow, my fingers stink. Just don't get it on me or anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hand me the rod now. I got it on the rod. You have it on your fingers, don't you? Yeah, want it. Want no, it. don't put that stuff by my face. <laughs> here, do you want me to reel this up a little? Yeah. Here, let me wash my hands quick. I just don't want to get that on my... Maybe I can set this here. No, I have one clean hand. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right. What do you think this is? Here, let me turn it quick. Oh, there we go. I'm going to put it in the same area as before, guys. Mm. Stink bait central is what I call it. It, same spot. Yep. Isn't he good, guys? It's literally the same spot. Literally. Not figuratively. <laughs> literally. Literally. It's true. Let me get that back. All right. Oh, that smells good. All right. You like that smell? It's great. Oh, it stinks so bad. <laughs> you stare at that white rock, it's probably going to get hit again. So all you got to do is start reeling down on it, and then I'll get the camera on you. Arizona sweet tea, what are you talking about? Bring the grill with on Sunday as well. Kent, I will. I will bring the grill. I mean, not that I'm fishing with you, Kent, but I'll bring the grill. <laughs> I will bring the grill. We'll bring some food. What's your favorite bait for flatheads? I would say bullheads, only because they're the, the easiest to keep alive. They're the easiest to keep alive. 
Very bad connection. Let's fix that. I'll just move around until it starts working again. 52% battery. Stop having a bad connection. Please. There we go. We're good. I just got to stay over here a little bit more. Andre Vang, what's going on, bro? Andre, LW20 is what you want. Unless you're running braid or uh, mono, then you want a 25. I didn't get back to you. Minnesota, St. Croix, Mississippi for Flathead at the moment. St. Croix. For sure. What's your favorite bait for flatheads? Bullhead's my favorite. Pedro, your message got deleted somehow. Must have been too long. That happens in live stream, guys. I'm thinking of a new location is needed. You're probably right, Red. You're probably right. My connection says it's bad too, and it keeps going in and out of connection. Let me fix my here. There we go. There we go. I keep saying I have a bad connection. I don't like that. Have you ever got into pay laking? No, and I probably never will. Well, I can guarantee you I will never go to a pay lake. I don't need them here. They're not illegal in Minnesota. And there's way too much water. If there's water that's fishable near where you live, I would never suggest a pay lake. Ever. And I mean that with all respect. It's a lot more fulfilling to go out and chase those fish down rather than catch ones that were put in there, you know? That's my opinion. They want to be live. Would you stop getting a bad connection phone? Do you use leeches? I use leeches for walleye. I do use leeches for walleye. Getting too dark to, for him to jump in? No. Never. T Terry, it's not Never. too dark. I'll, he'll jump in. I promise you he's jumping in if he catches one. He said he would. Ever garfish the Trinity River, Joshua, Evola? Yes. If you go to our channel, we have three gar episodes. We go down to Texas every fall. We fish alligator gar. We got uh, 200 on film, a couple 150s, and a few other good fish. Texas is awesome. It's one of our favorite places to go to film. Do you ever try catfish bubble gum when you... Jeremy, I did not get to even try... Nope, I did. I tried the, the bubble gum for a little bit. God dang it, my connection keeps going bad. I did try the bubble gum for a little bit in the kids tournament. And I, it just wasn't going. I just started you throwing all stink bait. That was probably the most successful thing of the day. Holy moly. Not been doing so well myself. Took the boy to the local reservoir and caught a dozen mini cats. Dad, dude, I don't know what's going on. Man, it's been tough. Camden Baker, can I get a shout out? Camden Baker, welcome to the stream. I appreciate you coming in here. Are you a new subscriber? I appreciate it if you are. I'm leaving the stream. Hopefully you guys make a show where you actually catch fish some. <laughs> we actually have those every other week. This is for fun. You guys, don't get it twisted with us. This is what I do every other Thursday. Catch fish like you see all those. They always catch fish in their episodes. We do have those. I hope we get hooked up too. DA Carp, what's going on? Use some leeches. Probably not for. Uh, that means I'd have to go somewhere to buy them. Probably will not use those for catfish. Where are you fishing? We're fishing the Minnesota River near Minneapolis. Fishing for channel cats. All I smell right now is stink bait. I don't like it. Well, that's what happens when you leave the. I don't like it. Is it open? Of course. Of course it is. What's happening? Twisted fishing TV. Any bites? We just had a bite. Uh, we missed the reel down on it. So we're probably going to move a little closer to the ramp after this. I'm not sure I'm going to stay live for it, only because it's getting a little dark. It is dark now, pretty much. And I don't want to crash. Have you caught any yet? We have not. We have not. Cool beans legit, what's going on? My big catfishing life, I have fish Baldwin, never ran. Hope too soon, though. Jeez, my connection is just horrible here. What's your favorite bait? I would say for blue cats, skipjack, flatheads, bullhead. And for channel cats, it's frogs or cut bait. I do garfish the Trinity, yes. Um, oh, I was a big skunk. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Doesn't end. I won't be anything else to do at work if you do. Don't end it. Can't. 
I have to, eventually. I can't keep going. Use your knife. Oh, I used the knife. I didn't want to. I let him do it, but he's going to wash it. It's still on there, too, simmering. I do love it. Stink bait can sometimes really catch cats when other baits are slow. You're exactly right. J. David Music, 100%. I agree. When nothing's working, throw out some stink bait. You probably catch a fish. You should try to fish with Steve Douglas. I might fish with Steve one day. Who knows? You never know. We got a bigger, we got a YouTuber flying here in uh, October. We're going to do a show um, for sturgeon and muskie. So it should be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to that very much. Load that tube up. That was just a teaser. <laughs> Lyle, one of your rods makes an appearance in my new video. Ooh, Lyle. Is Lyle still here? Uh, you should fish in Wellsboro. Bear hunted in Minnesota. And the mosquitoes. How long does it stink bait usually last before having to re-stink the lure? Red, I'm not even sure. To be honest with you. I don't know. Typically it gets bit before I even find out. Bear hunted in Minnesota and the mosquitoes could have carried you away. Dan, yeah, we got a lot of bears up where I'm from and it gets crazy. You guys probably hear the uh, crickets and frogs more than the mosquitoes. Only if he wears a life jacket, Todd, he's jumping in. But I'm ending the stream here in a couple minutes so he might not have to. Blues was on fire in Memphis last week. Show us the stink bait. It's docks. It's in a bucket. I would get it, but I don't even want to touch it. It stinks pretty bad. Hot fries for bait. You got that right. <laughs> use chicken livers. I have used chicken livers one time in my life is when I could not get cut bait and no other bait was available. I put chicken livers in pantyhose and I tightened it and tied knots. It actually caught fish, so... Stir it up like peanut butter and push it down a few times and smush the... Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know the, the whole stink bait lingo twisted. I just kind of put it in there and get it on there. This is Doc's stink bait. That's what, that's what it's called. What's your PB fish? Big. 100 and, 150 pounds. Sean Raby, what's going on? What's going on? What city are you in? We are. We're near, what city are we near? I don't even know. Carver, Chaska, kind of near Shakopee. That's where we're at. Eight pound channel cat last night in Northside, Lori. Luke, you need to fish with Steve in Ohio. 53.3, uh, what's your personal best, Dylan? Okay, what about yours? Same here, 40.7, that's good. Always got it twisted. I'm glad a lot of these comments go away when the stream's over, so that's always good. Wouldn't matter if you don't hook one tonight, it will still watch till the end. James Dockery, I appreciate that very much. It's kind of a slow... Is that a fish or you? Me. I should say it's kind of a slow night. It's kind of a normal night. The bite's been really, 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 really tough. Bob Towsley, what's going on, brother? Real Canadian fishing with Corey S. What's going on? Corey, I'll be up in the old Canada town here in about three weeks fishing for channel cats. What's your thoughts on bar barometric pressure? My thoughts on the barometer, because we were just talking about this, <laughs> and I had a discussion with a biologist here recently, a fishery biologist. We were discussing the barometer in terms of river fish, and I think it has much less of an effect on river fish than it does on lake fish. I think it affects l river fish a lot less than it does on a lake. That's my conclusion. Muskies, Brian Doyle, yeah. I do musky fish a little in the fall. Not a huge musky guy, but we, ha we happen to catch quite a few when we do it. Um, Some good chives, Spanish crab orchard lake here in southern Illinois. I think about coming down here sometime. Midwest catfish, and we got, I got a couple friends over there in Illinois. I still need to come see. Danny Cow is one of them, and another one is my buddy Zach. So hopefully, I get get over there to see him. I've never actually been into Illinois before, which is very odd because I've been to a lot of states and I've fished a lot of places, but I've never been to Illinois. I have flown into Chicago in the airport. That's it. 
How do you know exactly when a catfish is hooked? Lost many thinking I had it. Fish the... What the heck was that? Did I just get pooped <laughs> on or was that you? <laughs> was it me? There was, was like that? a berry that fell on me earlier. Yeah, like, that's what it was. Look. I just had one fall on me. Yeah. What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> I have to watch that on camera. You're about to reach 6,000 subs. Well, tonight's been a good night, and I appreciate everyone that has, has subscribed to the channel. And thank you, the pack opener. I appreciate that very much. It's funny because we try to ever. Sounds. <laughs> yeah, twisted. I apologize. It gets a little crazy. Um, I think I'm going to end the stream tonight, guys. I really wanted to catch a fish. We had one bite. Really slow. Um, stay tuned for this Sunday on my Facebook page. We're going to go live. Crazy fishing trip with my buddy Kent. So stay tuned for this Sunday. It's going to be nuts. Our, our show next week should be pretty freaking awesome. We got some new camera stuff we're going to do. It's going to be a really new style of show for us this weekend, guys. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't checked out our new Flathead Catfish shirts, NorthwoodsAngling.com. From myself... And Mr. Ginger Cat, thank you for tuning in and thank you for a, a wonderful fishless live stream with Northwoods Angling. Thank you everyone for coming in. Thank you all for the subscribes. Thank you for all the thumbs up. Everyone have a wonderful night. Tight lines. Drink a pure leaf. Magic Toodles. happens. Bye bye. See you later. Oh.